to my channel so in today's video I thought I could do a what to my backpack video since I haven't done one in like a really long time especially because it is my junior year I thought that I would do one because like I don't know I just find it interesting I have not changed the backpack that I've been using I have the same one from sophomore year I don't find a big problem with that since um there's nothing wrong with it and it didn't break I need to fix my tapestry Ugh. Okay. Since there's nothing wrong with my backpack, I thought I could use it again. This is my Adidas backpack. <laughs> So I'm gonna start out with the smallest pocket and then just go from there. So in this pocket, it's kind of like my go-to with like little necessities that I might be needing for the day. I have my charger. I bring this every single day to school to either charge my phone or my iPad, depending if I didn't charge it the night before. I have my AirPods. Um, this is the case of my AirPods. It might seem a little extra. However, I like it. It means that mine is different from everyone else's. So if I lose them, I can tell which ones are mine. I have Advil in here. I don't really know if I'm allowed to even carry this in school, but I do since um, I either have headaches or cramps in school. This can be my solution. I have this note that I needed to bring because I had to go to the principal's office. That's fun. Gum. Always carry gum with me. Then I have some whiteout. I keep it in here because it doesn't fit in my pencil case. Last but not least, I have my Carmex. I bring this everywhere with me since um, I like to put it on. So that's it in that little pocket. Second to biggest pocket, I normally carry my uh, lunchbox in here for lunch and stuff like that. Um, But yeah, there's nothing in here. So then comes the actual big humongous pocket with a, which a, bu with a bunch of unnecessary stuff. I had to carry my textbook. I have this folder. It's just like this hot kind of like coral salmon pink color. And this just carries all my information that like miscellaneous from all classes. Instead of having like a divider with all my things, I just carry it all in here. Then I have a separate gray folder. And this is literally just for physics because I just feel like this needs to be somewhere separate. I also carry a gray notebook and this is for physics as well. I actually have to work on stuff because I have lab twice next week, which is gonna be hell. I have that for this class. I don't normally keep a folder and a notebook for each class. I don't really think it's necessary because I have this one, but for physics, I feel like that's necessary. And then I have this notebook. It's for English. We're currently working on this murder investigation and it's like there's like a podcast about it. I have been super intrigued with it that I went out of my way to actually go watch the documentary. It's about this um, murder case that has to deal with this girl that died, Heyman Lee, and um, the convict, the allegedly who killed her was her ex-boyfriend, but his name was Adnan, Adnan Syed. I've just been really interested with it. We've been listening to the podcast in school and writing notes, and I went out of my way to look at the documentary since I find it so intriguing. I really cannot stop listening to it. The thing that's most frustrating about this case that I hate, because I like when cases are solved, that this one is not solved and this guy is still in prison, Not people not knowing if he's guilty or not. surprises me because at this day and age, I feel like we would have enough evidence to support if he, the person is guilty or not. However, because this happened in 1999, it's been like 20 years, not even. This is my history notebook. History, I think is my favorite class this year, to be honest. Um, Yeah, I just find it really interesting. Um, This is the actu this is actually the only honors class that I'm taking this year. I just find history really interesting. It just depends on what we're learning about. Sometimes it can get so confusing. It's definitely my favorite class so far. Um, I Because I have a drop schedule, it means that I drop two classes a day, so Today I did not have um, algebra or Spanish. Um, algebra two, I don't get it. If anyone would want to tutor me, that would be so great because I'm currently struggling a lot. Then I carry my planner. I've been using this. This one I've had for a while and I've been using it since my sophomore year. So this only goes up to like December 31st. So after that, I will obviously have to get a new one. I think an agenda or like some type of planner thing is really important when it comes to high school because you have so many classes a day, you kind of forget and some things are due at different times. I'm not really a forgetful person, but I like things visually. Then I have my iPad. Some schools have computers that, or like Chromebooks they take. I We have an iPad at my school. I've had this since my freshman year. And then I have my pencil case. This is a new pencil case I got this year. It's like a vertical one, which I think is cool because when I use it for class, I can just 
go like this and it will literally like stand up and I can just like use everything. I'm a very colorful person so that is why I have so many pens and markers in here. I don't like to use like actual highlighters because I don't think there's like enough like fun colors. So I take markers or like artist pens and I use them. I do have a hydro flask. It kind of makes me want to throw up in my mouth because like when I hear that word like it just feels like such like a thing that it's just like such a like an issue a hydro flask like okay like chill i'm not trying to defend it i'm just saying i don't know why it's such a big like i don't know why it's such a big issue but this is my hydro flask it's white it's 32 ounces i'm pretty sure i've been really into water since i've gotten it since i've just been motivated to drink more so i hope you guys enjoyed th this video if you guys did enjoy hit this video with a thumbs up and if you want more videos that are school related let me know in the comments below I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!